I'm talking a lot about the weather at the moment, uh, especially Adelaide's temperatures, but Gary in Mildura in Victoria's North has got in touch on Twitter. He says, think Adelaide is hot? Well, here in Mildura, 41 yesterday, 41 today, 45 on Friday, 40, 44 tomorrow, 45 on Friday. It must be tough. Mm. <coughs> it's everywhere. just so, so hot everywhere, and uh, Nate's going to take us through that now. Over to you. Certainly, yeah, Michael. We've had well, a high 40s right across parts of South Australia in the north of Victoria, certainly on the forecast. Now, in the north of the country at the moment, we've got the monsoon trough that's finally bringing some rain to the tropics. Now, we've got lows on either side of the country embedded in that monsoon trough, both are looking likely to develop into cyclones. The one in the west is the most likely to develop. We'll see that on Thursday, and we'll get to that in just a second. But let's talk about this heat in the south, because it's going to continue, particularly through South Australia today. Heat wave conditions are back. Meanwhile, in the southwest, there's a low pressure system just off the coast, and that's bringing a bit of a cold change and causing damaging winds. Forecast to gust to 90 kilometres an hour, as well as heavy rain and damaging surf on the way. And it's also helping to draw the heat further south into the country. That's causing extreme fire danger for southern WA. Severe conditions spreading into South Australia. We've got total fire bans in force. Now, let's turn back to the north of WA, where we're already feeling the effect of that tropical low embedded in the monsoon trough. Now, it is tipped to develop to cyclone strength tomorrow. For now, we've got a cyclone watch current from Curie Bay to Beagle Bay. Now, if the system forms, it will be called Tropical Cyclone Riley, and it's likely to reach Category 2 strength by the end of the week. So our focus is certainly going to shift northwards. We're in Queensland today, up in the north. We've also got a tropical low developing. That's not likely to go until maybe later on in the weekend, though plenty of rain today. Showers along the east coast as well and after severe storms in the southern interior yesterday we're likely to see more today. Brisbane you're getting to 34 staying fine. And stormy weather is returning to eastern New South Wales. After we saw severe storms yesterday we might see some more today along the ranges and maybe a dry storm for the northwest as well. Sydney you've got a little bit of wet weather around getting to 29 and it's a shower or two for Canberra as well maybe with a storm 34 degrees today. A little bit of drizzles clearing out of the south of Victoria this morning. There's a chance of a storm around the eastern ranges later this afternoon. But in Melbourne, a fine day. Sunny certainly through this afternoon. 25 degrees is the top. And in Tasmania, some relief after yesterday's heat. We've got morning showers in the west and the south of the state. More on the way in the north this afternoon, perhaps some for the northern ranges too. In Hobart, it's only 19 degrees. Over in South Australia, it is going to be very hot. We've got dry storms in the north as well. And Adelaide, it's the first of a couple of very hot days for you. 40 degrees on the forecast today. Over in Western Australia, we've got that cold, wet, windy weather in the southwest corner. But a little bit further east, hot, humid, stormy. For Perth, it's some showers and a windy 22 degrees today. And further north, that low is helping to drag down the monsoon trough from the west. So that means the wet and stormy weather returns, particularly across the Kimberley near the low. And for the top end, only the southeast of the Territory is staying clear. Darwin, you've got some rain, probably a storm as well, 31 degrees. Now, tomorrow we are still going to be talking about that heat. It is really moving into South Australia. And we're likely talking about tropical cyclone Riley as well later in the day. Meanwhile, Adelaide, you've got a top of 45 degrees as those gusty northerlies move in. And in the southeast, it's only going to get worse towards the end of the week. Well, indeed, Nate, thank you so much. Let's go to federal politics now.